Hey guys, so uh, I want to make a quick video for you guys. Um, one of the most common questions I get uh, when I put up a lot of the content I put up is people always ask me how to roll a joint. Um, I've made this video before in the past, but um, honestly, I wasn't even happy with the original video I made because I actually messed up in the video. So I didn't really um, promote it on all the places. I just kind of like put it up in my stories and then that was the end of it. But I want to show you guys how to roll a joint. Now, this isn't going to be one of the fancy joints. I'm not going to show you guys how to roll a cone or how to roll a joint using the glass tips. Those are all a little bit more advanced. I'm going to show you guys how to just roll a nice quality joint that will smoke and that will get you where you need to be. And we can go on some more advanced joints later. Yes, there is such a thing. Okay, so let's start with the stuff that you need. You are going to need some papers. You're going to need some tips. And you're going to need some bud. Now, um, I got a couple other things here that uh, aren't necessary aren't necessary to roll, but it you know can help you through the process, like a nice rolling tray or this bowl that I got when I was in Tanzania, and a grinder. These just make your your job that much easier because um, obviously you don't have to worry about the your material going anywhere, and you don't have to worry about um, you know, trying to break up buds with your fingers just makes it a lot easier, especially when you got that real sticky like I do. Okay. So, um, again, I know I'm going to be a little bit redundant in here for those that have watched me before. I just want to be clear with people on what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Um, so, um, that you guys can get, you know, a full picture or as full of a picture as I can get you. So let's get started. Okay. So first we're going to start with the tips. Now I use rolling tips because if you, you'll see later on, as we go through the process that the tips are good because when you roll up, what you don't want to do is as you smoke the joint down, you don't want to have to, I'm sure people have seen it where they get to the very end and then they got to try to hold the joint with their finger and it's like, like, you know, it's burning or, you know, people use those um, what they call roach clips to hold on to the, the small part of it. You're not going to have to do that with this. You can just go ahead and smoke it all the way down to the tip or to the filter. And then it don't it won't burn your fingers. You don't have to worry about it burning your nails. And also the great thing about the tip is that you can roll. I mean, you can smoke the joint all the way to the end because the material is going to go to where the tip is and it's not going to go all the way to where your lips are. So you can burn all the way down to the tip and smoke all the weed. Now, you'll you'll get the you'll see why this is important when it gets rolled up. So first thing first, let's start with rolling up the tip. You can buy these pre-rolled. I usually just buy them um, unrolled because there's more in the pack, which costs about the same. And um, they're really easy to do. So let's just get started. So you're gonna get one of these. You can also make these too. This is just a piece of cardboard, but, or you know, a thicker piece of paper than the paper you're gonna roll up. So just to give you an idea, right? You just gotta strip. And what you're gonna do is you wanna make a fold on one end. All right, so I'm gonna make this fold on one end. All right now, I got a small fold. All right, then I'm gonna take it. So I got that part folded, and I'm gonna just roll it real easy up with the rest. So now it's rolled. All right. So when I unroll, if I when I don't grip it hard, you see it just kind of comes apart. So we're gonna fix that, All right? So um, what you're gonna see. So you're gonna take the other end of it, and you're gonna fold it down. Go to fold it back. So I folded it down like I did on the first end, and then I folded it back like that. All right. Now I'm going to fold it forward again. And then I'm going to fold it back again. And the way I know I've done it right is that I get like a little W. Right? So you're rolling up weed. You should have a little W. 
when you roll, right? So I just took one end, folded it forward, then folded it back, then folded it forward again, then folded it back, and it should look something like this, All right? And then I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna unroll it, the whole thing. If I unroll the whole thing, it looks like this. So this is the first end that I bent and, and created the uh, edge to. I rolled it up and then I took the other edge and made my W with, right? Made my folds with it. So you got something like this. Now you're just gonna push those folds together. So it's like that and then just roll them all up together, roll it all up together. And you will get something like this. Now you've just created a roll tip and what that those folds do, cause I know you guys are wondering like, what's the point of the folds? Well, what those folds do is they actually act as a filter to stop any of the material as you're inhaling on the joint. It stops the material from coming back through and getting in your mouth those little folds right there that you create. You can see that really good there. All right, so I just created a fold, rolled it up. Once you do that, you'll see your tip will, oops, so I'm trying to tell you it's gonna stand on its own, but it won't unroll, which is what you want. You don't want it to unroll on you, right? It's rolled up, it's gonna stay rolled up. All right, so that's the proper way to roll a tip. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me just about how to roll a tip, All right? So that's how you roll a tip. Now we get to the fun part, the weed. So I got, besides a huge bus driving past my window, I got some flour and I got some kill we're gonna roll up today this looks super fire again this is some uh mimosa from verano one of the cultivators here in illinois really 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 pu uh, beautiful flower and what are we gonna do we're going to rip it to shreds and set it on fire but first we can take a second to admire all right. Okay. Good buds. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready. Um, so I got my butt. I got my rolling, my tip already rolled. Got my grinder ready. So again, can I just break this down by hand? Yes. But I like to use the roller just because it's a lot cleaner, it's a lot easier, it's less work. Oh man, look at this though, this looks amazing. One of my favorite things to do is to crack a bud open and then like smell the inside. Oh, it smells like a, um, I was telling my friend, it smells like a funky grapefruit right here. It smells so good, okay. Okay, 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 back to work. Okay, it smells delicious though. It smells even more delicious than it looks. But that's what you want your butt to look like. Okay, so again, now we got our grinder ready and we're just gonna tear off some buds here and put it in our grinder. It's real easy, just like this. All right, it's a lot of bud here. I like rolling fatties. I know most people will not use as much material as I am using, but I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, so I loaded up the grinder and now I am grinding. Doesn't take a lot either. It's fairly easy to grind. This bud is pretty sticky. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of clear, keep my area clean and the unused material, I'm just put back in a jar so we don't get it all mixed up. Okay. All right. So I've got some ground up flour. So I'm going 
going to take this all out. And what do you guys see? You have, I have a nickel in here. So the nickel is what you use inside of the grinder to make sure that you catch all of the keef. Now, I'm not gonna get into all the details on that. That's for another video. But um, I made a video before showing you guys how much keef that I was able to catch. And keef is basically the trichomes that falls off of the plant um, as you um, as you grind it up. It collects in the bottom of the grinder and the nickel helps push it through this screen here to the other side down here where you can catch the key for stores it and then you can use it to roll it up and smoke it or do whatever you want to do with it add it to um add it to a blunt you know make edibles out of it a lot of different things all right so there we go so now we got grounded up flour All right, so now we have our flour ground up. We are almost there. All right. Okay, next step. So we have roll up our tip. I like to do it in this order just so that is everything is ready. I roll up my tip and then I grind my flour. Now, it's the papers turn. So this is actually a fresh, uh, fresh pack of raw black papers. Now, um, I tell people all this all the time. I'm sure if you've been watching my videos, you've heard me say this before. I love raw uh, papers just in general because I love um, their social um, uh, things that they do with their company. Um, I also love their products. I think they make a really, really, really good product. But um, I smoke raw blacks particularly because they are the thinnest uh, papers on the market right now. Some of the thinnest papers on the market. I'm open to other papers as well, but they need to be thin like this. So if you guys know of any others, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'm always down to try new products, but um, I love Raw Blacks because they are very, very thin and they are the thinnest papers that Raw makes right now. They're the thinnest. Um, and they have the least amount of paper you see there. Also, not only are they king size, but they're slim. And again, I would have to have other papers out here for you guys to get an accurate comparison. We're not going to do that right now. Okay, so you got your raw black paper. Now, what I've noticed is normally I would just roll it up like this. But what I've been doing lately is balling these papers up. So you take it and you ball it up real quick. And I'll show you why. Because when you unball it, Okay. All right, so now it was balled up, and now that it's not, it is very, it has a lot of like small little ridges in it, little wrinkles in there, as you can imagine. You see, you know what happens when you ball up paper. You know, at first I had a very stiff, very, um, not very malleable to your to what you want to do. This is really good when you really want to like get really fancy with your rolling and stuff. Ball it up to make it just work a little bit better for you. And it seems you can grip the paper a little bit better. Just again, just a little tip. Okay. So now I have my paper. I've balled it up. I've unrolled it. Okay. So now what you want to do. Okay. So the paper has two sides to it, right? You got your outside and you got your inside. You know your inside because you can see the adhesive at the very top. And you want that adhesive to be at the top. You don't want it at the bottom like this. If you do this, you're, you're rolling upside down. You want your paper to be at the top and you want the adhesive to be facing you. You don't want it to be facing this way, all right? You guys can see the difference. The adhesive is facing me. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So now what you want to do, what I like to do is add my filter in just so I can get an idea of how much I'm putting in here and if I'm overdoing it. And you'll see why, because 
usually the filter falls out at a certain point in time, but we're gonna try to see what we're gonna do. So this is where having the bowl comes in. What I like to do is I use the, um, the packaging that the paper came in to actually scoop it out the bowl and put it right in my paper. See that? Oh. Do it again. Right in my paper. And now I don't have weed all over the place. I don't have weed all over my fingers. Right? Besides me breaking it down to put it in my grinder, I really haven't touched it. Okay. All right. So now we got the flower inside of the paper. I know it seems like it took us forever to get here, but we here now, all right? All right, we here. So I don't have another camera where I can show you my actual face. So I'm gonna try to do as much of this on camera so that the only thing that you don't see is me actually licking this adhesive because that's really the only thing that I do off camera when you see it go off a of camera. All right, I'm gonna lick that adhesive. But before I do that, I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna make sure that my bud is in here nice and even. So I kind of edge it out. You see, I put the tip in right now because I wanna know where the flower should be. I, I don't want it to be all the way down here because my tip needs to go there. And I don't want it to be all the way down here because it'll be a big gap. So I put the, the uh, tip in just to get an idea of where everything is gonna be. And then I start to, I'm, I want to move everything down. So I just real gently start squeezing it together. I'm squeezing the ends of these papers and just kind of like creating what I think the joint is going to be, right? See that? So I got the this here. I'm just kind of rolling it down a little bit. Then, now this is the difference between the original video that I made. The original video I made, I started on one end and then went all the way down. That's not typically how I roll though. Typically how I roll is I start from the middle, work my way down to this end, and then come back and finish up on the end where the tip is at the very at the very end. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna start rolling. So again, so I, I got it right here. This is because this is the probably the most important part, right? I got more paper at the top where the adhesive is. The adhesive is facing me. I got the weed in here. Cool, cool, cool. I got the edge of this paper right here. And very easy, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to tuck it in and roll it over. See that? Just tucking it in with my fingers on the, on the far end. This part is pretty much good. So since this part right here in the middle is good, I'm going to take this off camera very briefly and lick this just to steal it. Okay. So now I lick the part where the adhesive was on the inside, and then I lick the outside as well, just to make sure that it's gonna stick properly. Now, I don't know, I should have got my little uh, tools. I usually have a little dab tool here that I use to make sure that my bud doesn't come out. I don't know where that is, so I'm just using my scissors. Just make sure everything is nice and tight. Oh, it fell out anyway. Okay, which is why the next thing I do is go down to this end and do the same thing. I'm going to tuck, 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 right? So I've tucked it all over, and then I'm going to lick and seal this part. All right. So there we go with that part. Now I've licked that in. Now this part here is the part that you like. A lot of people twist it. You can pinch it. You got to be really careful when you twist though because that would happen what just happened uh-huh twist it a little bit too hard okay all right all right all right and as you can see we're almost there so now i just got to tighten up this end down here 
And all you got to do, see my tip has been in the whole time. Sometimes it falls out. If it falls out, you can easily put it back in. This one I rolled pretty easily, so it hasn't gone anywhere. And I just push it so that it's even with the paper. The weed is going to make sure it's nice and tight because see now, again, it's not going anywhere. And now I got this little lip left. And again, the reason I like to do this at the end and not at the beginning is because sometimes the bud can move around, it can flex, it can shift in here. If you wait to the end, you can make sure that your tip is gonna be nice and secure. You don't want this falling out at the last minute while you're smoking, or you don't want this moving around with, on you at any time. Same thing, I can push it in and make sure because now I have this side in. If I push it in, it's not gonna move anything down here this way. Nothing's gonna move back this way. So I got it nice and tight. So again, everything else down this way is sealed. So all I have to do is seal this last part where the adhesive is that has not been sealed. And again, I'm gonna lick that part now. All right. There we go. So now I lick that part. And there you have it. There you have it. Now you got a roll joint that's ready to spark. We got everything we need in here. We got our tip with our built-in filter. So now again, you guys can get a better idea of why I did that. Again, imagine you're smoking a joint and you get all the way to this part. Imagine this filter isn't here and now I'm holding the weed right here instead of it holding it right here. Right, a couple things are gonna happen. If I was holding it here and I'm trying to smoke, the fire at some point is gonna get to my finger, is gonna get to my thumbs, it's gonna get to my fingernails, it's gonna burn. That heat is gonna, you don't wanna have to deal with that. You put a tip in here. The weed is gonna burn, if I'm holding it right here, the weed is gonna get right, is gonna catch on fire right here. If I don't have this tip in here, I might have to toss it. Or if I don't have a roach clip, I might have to toss it because I gotta like, like this is on fire. I don't want to hold that with my hand. Again, with the tip, it alleviates all of those worries because you can smoke, as I say, from end to end. I smoke end to end. And uh, so there you go. You got a nice uh, roll blunt. Again, it's not the prettiest. I definitely could roll a little bit prettier, um, but it's definitely a is definitely a good looking joint. Like nobody would tell you it's ugly. I probably could have made this part right here a little bit better. But I know I'm gonna get killed in the comment section. But hopefully this guy this helps you guys out. Um, again, I know a lot of people were at, keep asking me when I put these roll up videos on to show them. Can I do it slower? Can I make another video so that I can like break it down and they can uh, really get the get an idea. Um, I can't wait to next year when uh, cannabis is legal across the entire state of Illinois and we can do some more events where I can maybe do some joint rolling uh, classes with people. We'd we'll love to do some of that with you guys. But until then, I'm going to go spark this. And again, like I said, I hope this helps you guys out. Let me know if you guys have any other questions.